Here's Brody Brazil. You know, I'm realizing that maybe I should have worded this presentation just a little bit differently because when it says on your screen here that a gondola was derailed at Dodger Stadium, first off, there is no gondola yet. And that would be a pretty graphic and devastating scene. So I don't want to mislead anybody. The gondola project and concept might have been derailed for the future of Dodger Stadium. Okay, now that we've got that understood, I'm actually going to pick up the coverage here from the Los Angeles Times because I'm not from L.A. I'm just trying to describe it overall. But I think the first couple paragraphs in the L.A. Times says everything best to kind of set the scene. In 2018, when former Dodgers owner Frank McCourt first pitched the concept of a gondola from Union Station to Dodger Stadium up the hill, then Mayor Eric Garcetti said he was, quote, absolutely confident that this will happen, end quote. Well, Karen Bass replaced Garcetti as mayor 14 months ago, and she had said nothing about the gondola project until Saturday, until this most recent Saturday, that is. The mayor and four allies on the Metro board issued a list of 31 conditions they want to impose in order to proceed with the project, including a plan for a regional bus program that could compete with the gondola for riders and a restriction on future development of the Dodger Stadium parking lots, which could drag the Dodgers themselves into the approval process. By the way, the Dodgers and their former owner own the parking lots. They have control over what gets developed there, how many spaces there are or aren't, or whatever they want to do with that land. And obviously this gondola would be headed right up the hill towards Dodger Dodger Stadium and all that land and the parking lots. Overall, I'll get to some takeaways by the end of this video. I think this is pretty cool. Like the idea of this, the thought of it, I don't know how efficient or practical this really is to bringing in a bunch of fans at Dodger Stadium. Does it seat like close to 60,000? And it does like maybe 5,000 fans per hour. But again, the idea of it, the thought of it, just the spectacle, it it kind of gives LA and and the, the spot between Union Station and Dodger Stadium right up the hill, right up Alameda Street, it, it kind of gives L.A. another identity piece. Here's some basics on the gondola and what proponents and opponents say about it. Proponents say that, hey, bonds and sponsorships and naming rights could pay for everything. This won't cost taxpayers anything, but it might cost up to $500 million to build and another $10 million a year for operation and upkeep and maintenance. So, The proponents are quite simple in saying, why not? It'll pay for itself and it'll be of some value and nobody needs to worry about it. Opponents, though, say this. They definitely want to avoid taxpayer liability. They're not certain that it could all be, well, taken care of like the proponents say. They also want to choose better alternatives to get up the hill, not just this. They say, well, how many people could this actually serve at one time? Is there a better place and way to spend the money to get more people to Dodger Stadium? You understand that traffic is a nightmare getting up there. Parking up there is already a tight and tough situation. They're looking to make it a lot more efficient to get up to and out of Dodger Stadium. And also opponents say, well, wait a second, this gondola, it's going to be funded and put together strictly to what? Serve the Dodgers and the former owner of the Dodgers and whatever they develop in the parking lots, like they might take away all the parking up at Dodger Stadium and build condos or restaurants or a mall or something like that. I mean, you think about land, it's very valuable in Los Angeles. And so to utilize parking space and have it be something else and not actual parking anymore, in opposition is is very mindful of that. But there's also this factor, the 2028 Summer Olympics are going to take place in Los Angeles And you know, with baseball being a part of it, that Dodger Stadium is going to be used as a venue. So typically for the Olympics, it's stuff like this that you generally do as part of sprucing up your venues and facilities. Here are the takeaways on the gondola system. It goes 1.2 miles. That's what it's planned to be. It is about 100 feet high. I saw some of the towers and poles might be as close as 200 feet high. But generally, gondolas are 100 feet off the ground. It moves 5,000 passengers per hour. And think about it. Who shows up three hours before a Dodger game? Nobody. And who wants to stay two hours after a Dodger game? Nobody. So to realistically think, and they draw like 57,000, I think, a game. Is it, is it hold 62 or 63? 
The Dodgers draw a lot in this day and age. 5,000 is such a meaningless sliver. I'll be perfectly honest. This doesn't do a dent. I mean, it looks nice. It's kind of a nice thing to have. But if you're trying to fix the problem, I don't know that it actually does that. They say it would be a seven-minute trip from Union Station up the hill to Dodger Stadium. And yeah, it'd be a great and fun addition. I subscribe to that. If somebody wants to pay for this and make sure it runs and operate it, and they promise to take care of it, like legally, and there's no two ways about it, then yeah, it's a great and fun addition to Los Angeles. But what's the actual purpose? Maybe the purpose is to... Make that land available. Make Dodger Stadium available for days there aren't games. All winter long. All the off nights and days when the Dodgers don't play there. I would also have some privacy and safety concerns. And I say this on two different levels. Privacy concerns of, wait, there's a gondola going over my house right now? I don't know what people will be able to see down into others' yards. And this currently doesn't exist right now. How could they make sure that Everybody gets to maintain their own privacy along the route of where the gondola would go so that nobody gets to like peek into your yard, peek into your house, peek into your windows. It's just kind of a weird thing. And also safety concerns. You're putting a bunch of strangers in a locked cabin car and putting them on a gondola wire for what, 1.2 miles in seven minutes. Uh, Is there a camera in every car? Security? Like how do you in the middle of the night, does this run 24 seven? How, how do you police and patrol this in the right way? And obviously, lastly, can you guarantee that this is all done with private money and private financing? The moment the public starts paying for this, I, I just think there's a better, more efficient way to bring a lot more people up the hill than a gondola. But again, I'm not opposed for it to happen. It looks cool. You just need to set your expectations realistically, right? If you, if you dial it down and realize, no, this is not even going to get like 5% of Dodger, well, 10% maybe, it's going to get maybe 10% of Dodger fans into the game, probably more like between 5 and 10%. It's not a lot. It's going to cost significantly. It, yeah, it might help out the future of the Dodgers and their former owner, the McCord family, whatever they want to do in the parking lot. But I, I just don't know... If for any reason this costs the public money or if there's any other drawbacks, it may not be worth it. Other than that, if it is as simple as somebody else will take care of it, then yeah, it's cool. It's fun. I would take it if it becomes popular, but I just, I just don't know. There's, there's still a lot of questions about this. Hey, thumbs up because you made it here to the end of the video. You know, I definitely appreciate that. And by the way, if you're just stopping by here on the channel for the first time, you've never seen me before, you're researching this new topic, welcome. I really appreciate it. Make sure before you go that you hit that subscribe button so I can definitely see you back here next time.